Hi, my name is Raki. I'm a second year medical student and a member of BAPIO. Today I'll be talking to Dr Jenny Vaughan from Doctors Association UK about the BAPIO India COVID fund. Firstly, why is this fund necessary? Hello, I'm Jenny Vaughan. I'm the chair of the Doctors Association and we speak out on behalf of frontline doctors on issues that really affect them. We're raising money together with the British Association of Physicians of Indian Origin, BAPIO, and a number of other organisations because what is happening in India right now is unprecedented and totally heartbreaking. All of us have been profoundly affected by the tragic scenes and many of us have family and friends in India and want to send our support to healthcare staff as they care for overwhelming numbers of patients. We're raising money and targeting directly that the money to the front line in the fight against COVID-19 as fast as possible. We're confident that the organisations managing the fund have the knowledge and skills needed to ensure that the money raised by your generous donations really help those in such desperate need. Please go to BAPIO India COVID Fund and give whatever you can. Thank you very much. My next question is, how far have we gotten and what's the next step? In the first phase, we're aiming to collect about half a million pounds. So far, we've raised over £110,000 in less than a week, but we need to keep going. And the next steps are to start to use this money in three main ways. The first way is to provide oxygen and to acquire and distribute vital equipment to help hospitals and the community provide oxygen to patients in need. Secondly, we're going to, the fund is going to provide food to all of those in need by collaborating with Akshay Patra so that no one goes hungry if they are unable to work. And finally, we want to provide expert medical help by setting up teleconsultants and teleadvice lines to help assist healthcare workers deal with the immense demands. Hundreds of doctors have already volunteered. We'll be working closely with the High Commission of India and various NHS organisations to ensure that we're able to assist. Please give whatever you can. Thank you.